There are many AI tools out there that you can plug into your workflows to automate your tasks or level up your product. But the best and the most customizable ones tend to require a fair amount of coding. So to get you started easier, we've compiled a list of low code and no code AI tools, including user-friendly APIs and SDKs for JavaScript and Python. And if you know some other tools that we do not mention in this video, comment below and let us know. Now let's get you started with AI driven speech to text technology. Well, we can't start this list with anything other than our SDKs. With the Python SDK, four lines of code and you have a full transcription, including timestamps of each word. You can also toggle any conversational intelligence model on, including speaker diarization, summarization, sentiment analysis, and more. It supports real time transcription and lemur, which you can use to apply LLMs to spoken data. But if your project requires JavaScript, you can opt for the JavaScript SDK of Assembly AI. This SDK is primarily written for Node.js and TypeScript, but is also compatible with other runtimes. You can find information on how to use either SDK in their documentation or on their GitHub pages, links to which are all included in the description below. And to get started, you can follow the link in the card to get your free API token from Assembly AI. Zapier is a workflow automation tool that helps users integrate services together without needing specialized coding knowledge. With the Assembly AI Zapier app, you can transcribe your audio inside Zaps or transcribe audio and video files from a service and forward the transcript to another service of your choice. Cloudflare is a platform that provides content delivery network services, cloud cybersecurity, and more. Assembly AI's Cloudflare integration lets users transcribe audio to text on Cloudflare workers with Assembly AI using Node.js and TypeScript. To learn how to use Assembly AI on Cloudflare, follow along with our Cloudflare speech-to-text tutorial here. Looking to transcribe virtual meetings? There's an app for that. Recall that AI provides a single API that lets users access real-time data from platforms like Microsoft Teams, Zoom, and Google Meet, and then transcribe them with Assembly AI. The integration also offers speaker labels and transcription for both real-time and asynchronous video and audio streams. All right, let's get back to coding just a little bit for the sake of using LLMs. There are three options of tools that you can use to build with LLMs, on audio data. First is Langchain. Langchain is an open source framework for developing applications with AI technologies like large language models. However, to apply LLMs to speech data, users first need to transcribe audio to text. There are two assembly AI integrations for Langchain that help facilitate this transcription process one for the Python framework and one for the JavaScript or TypeScript framework. You can also follow along with this tutorial on the assembly AI integration for langchain.js for more detailed instructions. Another option is to use Semantic Kernel. Semantic Kernel is an SDK for multiple programming languages that helps users develop applications with LLMs. However, as with Langchain, you must first convert speech data to text in order to interact with the LLM. Assembly AI semantic kernel integration makes this transcription step much easier. You can find the integration guide in the description to get support on getting started, usage, and additional resources. And then we have Haystack. Haystack is an open source Python framework by DeepSet for building custom apps with large language models. To work with audio files on Haystack, you can plug in your Assembly AI component to your workflow before you start using NLP models. Last but not least, we have Rivet. Rivet is an open source visual AI programming environment. Through the Rivet integration, you can convert speech to text and use Lemur, Assembly AI's framework for applying LLMs to speech data by just dragging and dropping a box into your Rivet development environment. To use any of these tools, the first step is to go to assemblyai.com and to get your free API key by creating an account. You can find the link here or down in the description. But before you leave, make sure to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with the AI world. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.